Mic check, mic check. Welcome to the Lazaro Lab. I'm Ryan Lazaro. And I'm Matt Lazaro. And today we have a special guest, Ryan Walker. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome. Here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, man. Um, thanks for being willing to jump on on such short notice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Throw me in. Always uh, <laughs> willing to just jump jump in. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, man. So, we, we were, you know, we had Vince on. And I was like, man, we got to have Ryan on as soon as possible. So you're here now. Yeah. So for for every for, for the people who don't know you, who you are, um, give us a breakdown of what, what you do here at the facility. And we're, we're at the, uh, the, the 209 facility where all the best is of the best is at. Best of the you best. From nutrition, <laughs> from nutrition to training. Yeah. <laughs> now we got the recovery. Um, so here I am. I like to consider myself as the youth development guy. Uh, I like to take on that role of the youth, Mm -hmm. giving back to the youth, helping the youth, because I feel if we uh, prosper the youth, it's going to help our generations going forth. Um, So I'm the footwork coach, conditioning coach, and also in charge of the football, Elevate Football Academy. Nice, nice. And you're also a... Angler, right? Fishing angler, yes, sir. Fishing angler. Professional angler? No, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> not, yet not yet. Yeah, I love the fishing. The fishing's been good to me. Got a product in there. Um, it's awesome. It's fun. Does the product make you a better angler? Uh, it helps you be more comfortable. I just, I just brought you guys some samples. Some oh, I know this. I know. I know. Ryan will definitely use it because oh, yeah. I really suck. Uh, I just told Gabe and Vince too. I said, "Man, we gotta do like a charter boat trip with everybody in this facility. That would be cool too." You know, this is who uh, wants to do? Tell them what you want to do. Oh, uh, go kayaking and oh, I would do that in the catch ocean. Sharks. He wants to catch shark. Yeah. Oh, with that. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh. what if it's the same size? They, they do that in Florida. Yeah, yeah we could do that in the Bay. Well, a lot of Is things right? happen in Florida that I don't want to be part of. <laughs> <laughs> what happens in Florida stays in Florida. Uh, yeah, when I first saw this logo, I think on one of your hats, I thought I said thick. So, <laughs> it's all, yeah, I like this. <laughs> it's all, yeah, I don't think. Yes, yeah, the uh, trigger happy comfort grips. Yeah, uh-huh. trigger happy comfort grips. Uh, TACG. Available at Tackle Warehouse, also our website. Uh, it's just a it's an ergonomic grip that helps you last longer in a sense of uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> helps you last longer in fishing. Kind of. <laughs> um, man, uh, we're big into the tournament fishing, and when you're tournament fishing, you're tournament fishing uh, against time. Uh, so it's cast, 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 yeah, cast, cast. Be fatiguing. It can't be yeah. fatiguing. Ain't got no time to slow down. It's we want we want you guys to stay comfortable. We got two different designs. That's actually our ribbed uh, design. We make a solid as well uh, <laughs> for extra, for different comfort. For fishing guys, yeah, all the way for fishing. <laughs> okay, how does this work though? Like. Like what? So that's go on the bait, bottom. That's or? our bait caster version. That actually goes okay. on the bait caster where the plastic trigger is in between your fingers. Ah, uh, okay. That's oh, where that goes. Okay. Yeah. So this yeah. goes on the round on part, the... and then this is in between your fingers. So oh, okay. it's just like that. That makes okay. sense. Actually. Yeah. Without so without that, usually you guys are accustomed to just switching fingers. Once they get fatigued, mm-hmm. they'll move up on the trigger. They'll just keep playing with their I, hand. Yeah. Right. We want you to be able to stay where you want to stay. So some guys prefer one finger being right there and. Staying right there. Yeah. But once you get fatigued after like those two day tournaments, there's guys you gotta throw over six hundred, seven hundred times a day. Whew. You know. So, oh man. Yeah, we yeah. try to keep them in their zone, keep them comfortable. Every time I've tried fishing, it's like for thirty minutes to an hour, then I'm done. Just yeah, no, I'm like, I, right. I like to go. That's, that's that bait fishing. <laughs> yeah, bait fishing. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so let's 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 uh uh go back. A l- uh, let's talk a little more about about what you do for Elevate though. Um, you said that you are, you're, you're the football. Mm-hmm. Well, here, break it down one more time. Sorry. So I do the footwork conditioning uh, for the youth, and then um, also have the Elevate Football Academy as well. So yes. how long has it been since you've been here? Because I, I, I vaguely remember so, all of a sudden seeing you here. You want, you want the full background? Yeah, all that's right. what we're here for. Yeah, we ain't got nowhere to go, to bro. Elevate. Let's right, do it. Let's do it. Yeah. How we got here. Yeah. How, yeah. Right here, guys. Yeah, how we got to right Elevate. There. Can you see it? There it is, yeah. man. Um, I'll try to sum it up. Uh, my son, Elijah, he was four. 
um, threw the ball good, man. And I was just like, whoa, this is this is nice. I was like, let's build off of this. He wanted to build off of it. He was loving it. Mm -hmm. So uh, we started training at home. And then what it got to the point was is we were there every day training, and I didn't want to sound like a broken record. Yeah. So I got to research, and this is when like Instagram started going full speed, you know, because yeah. you know this, the the social media just keeps changing, changing, changing. I remember at one point we were all at MySpace. That that went out quick. Oh man! Mm -hmm. <laughs> and top then uh, eight. yeah, we're, we're <laughs> top thirty. Yeah. <laughs> no, but uh, I wanted him to see elsewhere too. You know, I'm not one of those coaches that say, oh, this is my work. You got to li live by my work. Knowledge is key. Knowledge is power. Mm -hmm. So I started researching. And while I was researching, I just kept running into like Southern California. Mm -hmm. Well, while I was looking at Southern California and what they do, because I was willing to make that move, I seen someone comment under <laughs> someone's page. It said VC209. <laughs> I was like, oh, someone's from the 209. Let me see what this is. Yeah. And it was Vince. Oh. And uh, this is when they were at on Thornton. Oh, oh okay. wow. They were yeah. at Thornton. Uh, he just got started into doing it at the parks as well. So I hit him up that day. Right when I seen him, I was like, hey, man, I want to uh, get my son involved. You're actually five minutes from me. Mm -hmm. He was like, hey, bring your son. I was like, how much you charge? He was like, don't even worry about it. You know, no more events. He's trying to help everybody. And he was like, man, just bring your son. And uh, I brought him, and we were doing it. And But while I was doing what I was doing, uh, I bought a bunch of gear, man, a bunch of gear. So while I was at the park working with my son, uh, people were like, oh, how do I sign up? I was like, oh, there ain't no time. <laughs> like, I'm just, you know, uh, do my thing. <laughs> just, uh, yeah. Hop in, jump in. Well, you know, my son is still getting his work. Plus, he's building relationships. Plus, these other kids in the community are getting some work. But I always have Vince in my mind. So when I see that kids were getting better, were prospering in the training, I would send them over here to Elevate. Mm -hmm. Plus, bringing my son here to Elevate. So I used gotcha. to come be one of these parents that are trying to record, yeah. trying to get the parents involved. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's where I was. And then, uh, man, fast forward, Vince was like, you're going to be in here one day. And I was like, oh, man, I, I love the park, man. I love what I'm doing. He was like, no, you're going to be in here one day. Fast forward, man, I'm in here, um, and we're, everything's going good, man. Everything's going smooth. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, I didn't realize you were bringing them back way way back then. Oh, yeah, way back then. Oh. Yeah. yeah, oh, yeah, okay. way back then when Vince was, was at the like, park. Years ago, six years almost. Yeah, yeah, because okay. it's been it's been about six years since. Yeah, so I 100 percent believed in what Vince was doing. I believed in myself, but I also knew, like I said, back to the youth. I love staying to the youth. Yeah, you know that's that's my that's where I want to be. Mm -hmm. I got a lot of relationships with a lot of uh, coaches in high school, and I love hearing them say, "Hey, coach, man, that training paid off." We're oh, yeah. jumping from instead of having to go back to ABC, we're get, we're able to jump down the line. So man, that's that's the huge blessing yeah, have, is getting that feedback from the coaches. Having the opportunity to groom them at a really young age, how right, to properly the right be way. prepared. Yeah, yeah, the right way. Learn, let them learn the language. Don't don't be afraid to teach them the language. Um, I feel like that's where we're doing a very good job as well. Is we're not afraid to give them what we're giving like the middle school kids or what the high school kids. Yeah. If you talk to them like they know something, they're going to give you reactions like they know mm -hmm. something. You know. So that's where I. Uh, I love to be at, man. So, yeah, we're here now. Uh, brought it here full speed, and it's going good, man. Sweet. Yeah, that's awesome. So, youth, so what ages does that, that, that mean? Oh, man, I don't turn down nothing but my collar. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I like I, I, We got kids in here. I had a kid walk in yesterday. He was five. Yeah. Wow. Well, I mean, we've had uh, Rory five. and Rezzy. They're four and seven. So. You know? So yeah. four, five, six, yeah, right. seven. I feel like that's the most important time for them just to understand what structure is, hard work is. Mm -hmm. We're not going to ask them to be perfect. We're not going to ask them to, you know, no, they're not getting offers at six, seven, yeah. eight. You know, <laughs> but it's like build structure, though. Build yeah. structures. So I want them to be able to go home and be like, man, I remember that that discipline. Mom and dad don't have to remind me about making my bed or mm. brushing my teeth or even though we, they, they're kids, they're still yeah. have to remind them. But just that discipline of mm -hmm. just knowing that, you know, I got to do better at all times. I could be better at all times. Yeah. You know, the uh, I mean, what what kind of uh, feedback have the parents been giving you overall? Like what's what's your favorite? What are some of your favorite stories that you get back? Uh, actually, I have a very uh, favorite one. 
<laughs> <laughs> so we get a lot of all shapes and sizes when I say that too. We get a lot of those moms who are single. We get the dads who are single. So to hear back from the moms who are working two jobs and their kids come here and they're trusting their process and I get that phone call saying, man, the kid is prospering in school, prospering at home, their mm -hmm. character. Nice. That's my trophy, you know, is to hear that. They're just trying to be better people. You know, at the end of the day, we're not only are we training, but in a sense, we are mentors as well. Yeah, you know, so to give them that there. mentorship, I, that was I wish I had that. I didn't, I didn't have that growing up. It was it was there, but not to the effect that we're doing now. Like we're able yeah. to be super hands on. You yeah, know? that's a big difference from like what did you play? Uh, did you play sport growing super up? Super played. Uh, my dad had us in everything, even as. Ice hockey, dude. I played ice hockey. Whoa, what? Yeah. <laughs> ice hockey, huh? Um, but we just never really had, um, or for myself, I didn't really have the structure of putting uh, my best foot forward in a sense of, man, I had to raise my brothers and sisters early. Mm -hmm. So for me, it wasn't about school when I got home. It wasn't about- Just grow up. Yeah, take care. yeah grow up, yeah. <laughs> make sure the kids are fed, make sure the kids are bathed, make sure the food's on the table. Um, you might have to walk them to the bus. You might have to take your brother to school. You might have to be late to school just doing that. You know, it's, it was a lot of sacrifice growing up. So my sacrifice doing that, I was able to grow as a mentor. I think I paid the dues to be the type of coach I am right. now. You know, it's, it's coming full forward now. So, yeah. Yeah, that's that's a tough position to be in, though, as a, yeah. as a child growing oh, up. Oh, yeah, it was it was tough. It was a uh, How old were you? Huge, like, was there a Oh, I started young. I, I, I remember being home by myself trying to make food for my brother at uh, 11, mm. 10, 9. Yeah. yeah, early, you know, change, changing diapers of two kids and washing clothes and trying to figure out, a lot okay, of experience how do I, how do I know how to burn this egg? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like little wolves looking at me like, hey, how are we going to eat? You know, you know? Uh, can't figure it out myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to figure it out. Microwave, microwave. Man, how many siblings were there? <laughs> so I got, uh, there's five of us total. I have oh, uh, wow. three little brothers. I got, three bro I got two brothers and three sisters. Mm. Yeah. Young sisters. Damn, man, that's a. Uh, I I hear stories of I, I have friends and and just I've known other people that have mm -hmm. been in very similar predicaments and it's like, it definitely every single one of them has has like a certain. Are, are you the oldest? I'm the oldest. Yeah, so they they're all the oldest out of those bunch, and it's it's very interesting the um their what how how they end up you know interacting with life in general right, right. like it, it's it's um it's very ahead of their age like mm -hmm. maturity wise i mean you're kind of forced into it right um i mean what was that like 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 did, were you ever i don't know maybe this is kind of just digging a little too deep but no, no, were you ever good. like resentful at all or anything because oh. like i feel like if i had to do that for ryan growing up I would have disliked him more than I already did. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm done. <laughs> you, know, you know, like, yeah. like we were left alone a lot, but it wasn't like, you know, there was food made and, you know, there was, you know, we, yeah. we, we, we still were, were taken care of, you know, yeah, we right. had our grandparents there when they needed to be there. And, um, but you know, I would have, Never changed Ryan's diaper, you know. Like, <laughs> That's out. Like, nah, you gonna sit there till someone gets home. <laughs> hey, we're gonna throw you in the bath. Yeah, <laughs> you sit there. You good? <laughs> good, good. <laughs> yeah, uh, there was some resent, and uh, that's where it comes down to uh, me jumping into the streets. Mm. So high school. Uh, when I went to high school and at this at the time this when I was going to Stag mm -hmm. uh, Stag at the time was like super gangland like it was just everywhere everywhere you look the hallways the people it was just survival mode for a lot of people at Stag when I was there so I'm not the only one who had to go through it like that whole school was going through it so when I was going to going home it was more so like I said it wasn't about school it was about taking care of the kids taking care of that mm -hmm. and then I did resent in a sense of I would take it out and be a product of my environment where I was at school, you know, joining, hanging out with gangs, being affiliated with everybody. So mm -hmm. that's where I think where my resentment went was uh, went to the streets, mm. you know. So clearly that didn't last, uh, you know. No. You're, you're, <laughs> <where>? <laughs> no, man, shout out to my son, my first son. He saved me. 
You know? Oh. Yeah, having my first son. Because even after high school, two years after high school, I was still full speed. Um, then having, having my son, man, that was a huge blessing. Like, you really learn what life is when you have kids. It's not even just a son. It's any kid, a daughter or mm -hmm. boy. Like, the girls, man, they'll set you straight, too. All right, I got two. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah you he do. Needs two him. beautiful babies, he's a, man. He's a wild man. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all don't know, bro, right? I'm telling you, stories are going to come eventually. I'm telling you. <laughs> We're just waiting. We're going to wait till like, episode 100 to reveal some uh, really good stories. <laughs> it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, that's that's the thing. It's like uh, a lot of a lot of uh, some of my favorite people. We all grew up on the streets, you know, running, not not on the streets, but running the streets, doing hood rat shit. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. and it's funny. That because, was all around. Yeah, I mean, because we went to Edison. I mean, we were born and raised on the south uh, it was, side. It was full speed. Yeah, like in the <laughs> early nineties. I'm dating myself, but like you know, in the nineties, it's it was like. That's just what was normal. And it's like, yeah, it was normal, bro. It was normal to bang, and it was normal to fight. It, it was, was normal to just hang out. It was normal yeah. just to... Hang out, tag. Over ditching. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we did that a lot, a lot. actually. Yeah. Yeah. Remember the runouts? I used to go ditch and then go oh to restaurants and then run out. Yeah. Dude, I I'm not proud of that. Bill. Yeah, I wasn't fast enough. I didn't catch on. <laughs> like twice, I was You're all excited. Like, yeah. Yeah, was, yeah. Everybody's just bailing. I'm like... Get the memo. Uh, Here's the bill. I'm, I'm just like, paying for mine. Yeah, like, oh, they'll be back there in the bathroom, you know? Yeah. Dude, oh, my man. mom rescued me one time. That bill was like two fifty. My mom, they oh. would not let me go. Dang. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to my mom. Yeah. <laughs> I feel bad. I did that at Denny's a couple times. Yeah, Denny's yeah. a couple times. <laughs> oh shoot, man. Nah, I never did that. You lie. You did not. Huh? Never did anything. You liar. No regrets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're, maybe next episode we're going to dive into Ryan's childhood. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, no, nah, but that's that's the thing. It's like, it's, it's, uh, it's interesting with the, the ones of us that do make it out and create some positivity in, mm -hmm. in the community, you know, and you're doing just that, exactly. Yeah, you know how to maneuver. Yeah. Well, and also you can relate to a lot of what the kids are going through at the moment. Mm -hmm. you know? And uh, I think you put the nail on it. I think that's where I separate myself from a lot of other people. I'm not. I'm not saying I'm the best. Never. But where I separate myself is I did that other side that a lot of people talk about when they say uh, you're either going to be this or you're going to be that. Mm -hmm. And I did that other side full speed, and I know for a fact that that's not it. Yeah. You know, it's it's just it's just not it. So. Yeah, man, that that um, that's always been an interesting thing in the sense of, like, you know how hard things can be, and watching watching like these these young children just kind of you're you're mentoring them essentially, right. you're, you're teaching them life skills right now. Right, like that's really, in my opinion, what what what's going on is the life skills of of discipline, consistency, and all of these other positive things that, that you know, a lot of times they just, I, I feel like it's a little different right now because we have, like we were just talking about phones earlier mm -hmm. before we started recording, like having access to unlimited amounts of information is definitely not always a good thing. No, no it's not. I, I feel like it's more detrimental than anything. Right. Because stuff yeah. we're supposed to learn like at eight and nine, you're learning at six now with that phone in your oh, hand. Oh, easily. Yeah. I mean, yeah. stuff that you should be learning at 18 or older, you should be... Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, what did I just come across? <laughs> no. Like, like, yeah. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> this went left. Screenshot. <laughs> oh, for real, man. Yeah. That's, that's but real. That's, that's like, that's something that we have to prepare for, like, and we have to prepare our kids for that. No, right. Yeah. When, like I tell a lot of parents when they're signing up with us and their kids are coming from a background like myself, uh, we're up against their peers, we're up against their school, we're up against their neighborhoods, we're up against their social media, we're up against the gangs, we're up against it all. Mm -hmm. You know, so to be able to have an impact and hopefully steer them in a different direction, let them know that there is just a different direction is a blessing. It's a huge blessing. You know, I remember it was almost, back in the day, it was almost kind of um, cool. Like, you didn't want to be like a square. 
Remember that? Yeah. Remember you like, I got a question, but I don't want to raise my hand in class. They're going to yeah. laugh at me. Yeah. Look at the dummy, but the dummies in are all in the back. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, oh, I don't want people to think I'm smart. You know? like, no, no, right. That was a weird. No, I wish Ryan somebody would have told me. That. Nah, <laughs> I wish somebody would have told me that that was cool because we did come from that era where they were like, you would get talked about. You know? Yeah. You, you would, they would point fingers at you or they just... You know, I just remember just, realizing uh, sit back I, in that cool. Yeah, I, I just remember yeah. one of one of one of one of my teachers told me he's like, you, it's like you're gonna you're either gonna be the guy that they're all gonna work for, or you're gonna be one of the ones working for the, the guy. The guy, yeah. Right. And I was like, oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't, that's not a good feeling. You know, like no, real real world. Yeah. 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 That's a uh, so. How long have you been coaching then? Well, all right. That goes back too. Yeah. <laughs> so when you I was go way back, bro. No, way back. So when I was young, I actually had a, a serious accident. Uh, we were so my whole family's in the WWE. I got a long oh, family yeah. history in WWE. Uh, Yokozuna, Rakishi, my uncle Sam. They used to be called the uh, head shrinkers back in the day. Uh, wait, wait, you're related to these people? That's, yeah, that's, that's blood. What? Yeah, so I grew up going backstage, yeah. hanging out with like Vince McMahon, Undertaker. Oh wow! Uh, um, my two cousins. Uh, they're all actually the twins. They're called the Usos on in WWE. Yeah, nice. that's my uncle wow. Junior's uh, sons. They used to have all the toys and play. Uh, oh, yeah, no, we were, we were them mentally. Yeah. Like, Mentally, we're like, okay, we're going to jump off this bump bed. We're going <laughs> to hang off this tree. We're going to yeah. fight over this oh. belt. Well, long story short, we were doing just that in a, an apartment, in a bump bed. And mm-hmm. uh, I got launched, and I landed in a corner of my head. Ooh. And I was at Oakland Children's Hospital for like two weeks. Oh, you I lost really my hit your head? Yeah, I lost oh. my vision. And then two weeks later, I woke up, and I could see, and I was like, Oh, I could see now, and everybody was like, "Dude, you were you couldn't see for two weeks. You were out of Dang. it. You were that's pretty so crazy. How old were you? I was probably twelve or no, oh. younger than that. I was probably even younger than that. So football, when it got back to playing football, and this is back in the day when they were telling you to use your head. No, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So like, like, you run over, run over. Me and they're my like, brother, the top of your head. <laughs> yeah, they're putting me and my brother at linebacker, and we're just coming in full speed. Oh God! Well, I would blink. I would blink, and I would get those. Uh, days where I would blink and I would still see black. So right then and there, I had to pull the plug on football. Mm. So that's when I became a coach. I was coach. I, I didn't want to give up on the team. I didn't want to, you know, just get away from the sport just because I couldn't play it. So I was actually my brother's coach for a long time. I was mm. 11 and 12 on the sideline coaching. Nice. Wow. Yeah. So wow. like coaching, coaching has been around longer than a lot of people think for me. You know, it has nothing, it's even way before my son even getting into sports and stuff like that. We always, well, we, we grew up in that era where it was okay to go outside and play ball. And, mm-hmm. you know, we were coaching ourselves back in the day. That's very, that's yeah. very true. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we were coaching ourselves. So we lived across the street from a park. So we were always at the park. Yeah. Well, yeah. go outside, come Probably, in when the lights come on. Our parents didn't really like us going there too often. But, yeah. Yeah, you people know, it was selling drugs, yeah. And yeah, doing burnouts in the park, shooting up crack shooting in the bathroom, people. seeing girls. <laughs> Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> not a good one. <laughs> all, that, all that comes yeah. into play. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, I remember those days. Those were yeah. The flea market was right around the corner too. Oh, you live on the south side, south yeah, side, street, south side. Yeah. yeah. Uh, when we Sorry, first, uh, my, my dad's uh, wife, uh, when I was young, she had a house on Eighth uh, and Hunter. Mm-hmm. So I know all about oh, that yeah. part like that behind you us. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I know all about. Up. That park. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good old McKinley Park, man. Good old McKinley Park. Yeah. I think VC, that's where he was at. Yeah, there. Somewhere, yeah. In area, somewhere, yeah. somewhere in there. Yeah. I always so I always mess with them and tell them you didn't really grow up in the hood. <laughs> <laughs> I see you out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you're one of those that grew up in Lodi and said that you grew up in Stockton. <laughs> <laughs> it was outside, outside. I'm just playing. No, nah, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, it, it it's 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 funny too because like you know, first meeting you and everything, I always feel like I click with people who, 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 and we don't even know. We don't know nothing about each other. And mm-hmm. it's just like, we just feel like you just automatically click because culture. Yeah. You just know. So that's the you body language know. and yeah. the culture. culture communication. Yeah. It's so probably the tattoos. You know, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Dude, that's wild, though. You are, 
blood related to them, yeah. them, them crazy. Yeah, my dad actually uh, w uh, was going out for WWE before he had me. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's deep. Islanders played have been playing a pretty significant role in, in sports more more recently. Like oh, the, yeah. The prevalence and, and just, you know, it it is a cultural thing anyway. Right, right? Yeah. Like Warrior. Yeah. But but that's the thing. Like, I, I always have said, you know, they, I feel like society doesn't appreciate, like, what role sports play in, in, in our lives. Right. Yeah. And then harnessing that warrior spirit and stuff like that. Right. Just being able to have that outlet, like, the the necessity for that. Not that everyone needs to become professional athletes or anything no. like that. No. But, but you like, can be a warrior in school. Yeah, exactly. Right. You could be a yeah. warrior in being a doctor. You could be a warrior in being a lawyer. The, the mental approach toward things. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. It is. It's the warrior spirit, the mentality, the the, and then being able to be physically resilient overall, right. like that. Those are such underplayed things. Yeah. No. I so so much. So much. True. You know, it's funny. Like, do you ever feel like well, how old your oldest? Uh, he'll actually be 13 uh, on Saturday. Yeah. Oh, wow. So a couple of years older than my boy. And, and that's the thing. It's like, I always question, like, is, is he going to grow up too soft? You know, like, because mm -hmm. I'm all living in the suburbs and shit. And <laughs> he doesn't have to worry about anything. And it, it, it's, I always question whether, like, maybe we should just go live in the hood for a little bit. Like, <laughs> No, I think with you coming with your background, you know, it's like, like I tell everybody, it starts at home. Mm -hmm. You know, it always starts at home. So the the structure you're going to give him to be successful in life, mentally and physically, he'll be all right. Yeah. You know, you don't got to be in sports or, like you said, it's, it's, a, it's a mental. Yeah. You know, as long as they have that, that mental, they're gonna, I think everybody will be okay if you have that mental and you yeah. got that foundation at home. But it goes back to what we're saying about being a mentor is not everybody has that at home. That's very true, and it's it's we need more people like you around. Yeah, you know, you and VC, man, you guys do, I, you guys do a ton for for. for it don't me. stop. I know. Yeah. I know. I mean, even when I, I've seen it full circle, I know what I do, but I also try to make sure that nobody forgets what VC does, man. Like that, uh, the sacrifice. That's where it started, man. Yeah, hey, man, this, yeah. Yeah, that's where it started, man. The sacrifice he's having to go through, that his wife Marina's have to go through to see this work, you know, and mm -hmm. I'm sure they had their ups and downs about, man, is this going to work? And, and, and it worked, you yeah. know, sacrificing to be away from his, his own sons and his wife. And, you know, people don't know. They see the gym. They see the videos. They see the lights. But they don't really see the real background that happens once we walk out of these doors. Yeah. You know, they don't oh, yeah. know the drop-offs that we do at families' houses. They don't know the just the, 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 the little stuff that counts even more. Yeah. Well, I see you guys, like, you know, even the things you're doing on the weekend, you're traveling. Yeah. Like, you're, you're gone, you're gone man, a lot. That's a I'm lot. gone a lot, what's, uh, yeah. What's, what's, like, your average day look like for you? Uh, wake up, get online, look to see what the other side of the world is doing because they woke up before us. So I want... Where I'm at is I want us to be our full potential. How we be our full potential is making sure that we're involved in everything and time is everything. Mm -hmm. So I know waking up early and getting on the time of what everybody else is getting on as well, we're putting ourselves in a better position. So like today, I woke up early this morning. Uh, I was talking to people from the East Coast about you know the grip product for fishing because they're already up. They're already doing their tournament. But then also, I'm writing somebody in Indianapolis saying, you know, hey, our 7 on 7 is coming up. And I know that they're woken up, woken up before us. So, hey, how can I find out what tournament we're supposed to be in? Mm -hmm. How can I see this? How can I see that? So, uh, wake up. I plug in with everybody first. Um, <laughs> go get on that bass boat. Go do some fishing. Oh, okay. yeah. Got to get on the boat early. Oh, like every day? Every day. Wow. Oh. Uh, there you go. Now I'm Every day. Jealous, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it got so real with the product where that's my office. Like, yeah. if I'm not at the office, hmm. I can't. That's I can't speak to my customers, you that's, know. That's so that's true. That's true. When I go fishing, not only am I fishing for the fish, I'm also fishing for that new relationship of someone who never seen our product before. Yeah. Which dock are we meeting at? Man, that's true. We got yeah. it now. Absolutely. All right. No, but yeah, you were saying. Oh, salmon season's coming, man. It should be here in about oh, like right. two weeks. Nice. So yeah, we got it. We'll, we'll go out. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we'll go out. I never. I gotta renew that license. I. Uh, I remember I got in trouble. I didn't know. I was out in Markleyville, mm -hmm. and there was a there's a certain uh, 
uh, in the mountains, and, and there was a certain uh, um, area. It was kind of like an overpass, mm. and I was wondering, like, why is no one standing there? I guess you're not supposed to fish off of where they were fishing. You had to go to a cer- certain areas in that. Mm. that. Yeah, in the mountains, there's a lot of areas there's you a can lot of or rules. can't fish, and you can't right. eat barbed oh, The rules are crazy now. Man, they rolled up on me so fast. I was all, I don't know. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no hablo inglés. I mean, no. Man. They're like, they're going to call ice on me no. now. No. <laughs> Shut myself in the foot. <laughs> like, no, no. I don't even know how to speak Spanish, guys. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> they just just walk away. When they get to talk, just act like you don't even understand. <laughs> just start going to the court. Yeah. Have a nice day. No. <laughs> yeah, That's funny. Oh, man. Yeah, there's a lot of rules now. Yeah, I feel like because uh, our dad used to bring us fishing quite often. We were oh down. yeah, there was a point we were going downtown fishing every mm-hmm. day. We were watching like for the uh, when the tide came. The tide, in, yep. The shad would start boiling in the water and just start throwing lures and catching the stripers. And, Man, yeah. we were just hooking them though, right? Oh, <laughs> you snack some good. of them, but a lot of times they hit it and you get lucky. I snag some, some carp once in a while in accident. <laughs> yeah, they got. I don't know if they do anymore, but they had like huge carp. We just walked the sides and just huge. Pull in there, bam, hit him in the tail and just yeah. they, were, they were kids. They were kids. Yeah. <laughs> I was under sixteen. Yeah, this was uh, I was like twelve years old. You know? <laughs> They're kids. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we're all exploiting ourselves. <laughs> Fishing games gonna be outside. <laughs> so you guys like to hook, huh? Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. no complaint. Just walk off. <laughs> yeah. So oh, so you uh, every morning on the boat. Every morning on the boat, get off by one, go home, get all that marketing done, prepare my schedule for my football team, and then uh, I'm here training. And it's everyday life. Man. Yeah. Yeah, you'd be grinding, man. Like, that's, yeah, I, I totally love that. Like, that's, yeah. You just, you just you, picked up a new gig recently, right? Another one? <laughs> Damn, Another bro. one. <laughs> I'm over here trying to do less. Like, I'm like man, cool thing is, uh, man. Shout out to Chewy uh, from the Oakland Dynamites. Uh, they called man, and there's a big, huge uh, NorCal versus SoCal event coming up in January. Mm-hmm. And uh, man, he uh, asked if I could be the head coach uh, to go represent NorCal, man. And uh, man, a huge blessing to even just get that phone call. And get that opportunity. Um, That's pretty sick. Yeah, it's the, it's the best of LA coming together to go against the best of NorCal. Wow. Yeah, another huge blessing, man. We were ranked. Uh, shout out to the Northwest Trojans. We were ranked uh, number five yesterday in NorCal. Nice. You know, to just to be, I would even took top thirty. I mean, there's hundreds of teams in NorCal, so to yeah, even just be say, on that, that's wild. That's big, yeah, that's wow. huge. You know, even though I know we could be number one on there, I know we won't get to play a lot of those teams just due to the league wise. But just to be on there, man, that's that's huge. It's mm. it's huge. What do you what What are some of the things that you tell the kids from a mental standpoint, like mental preparedness and things like that? opportunities come and go and I feel it's not about how many opportunities you can get it's what you're going to do with this one opportunity first Mm. so I try to teach them to understand their sacrifice from the beginning don't sacrifice on the third opportunity on the fourth opportunity sacrifice from the from the jump you know buy in trust the process understand that it's not always going to be uh good Mm -hmm. you know you got to roll with the punches you know so for me it's about when you get the opportunity run off with the opportunity i feel like back in the day there was so few opportunities that right when you got them it was like everything all in right i don't think if the stuff was coming right now i don't think i would appreciate it at 18 yeah that's super hard to appreciate anything it's like, at 18, yeah. i feel like yeah yeah, yeah. like you maybe know. Yeah, i'll wait about for it. the next yeah. one <laughs> I, I, lived, I lived through that man i had a dude i had a great job at 16 17 years old i was working at a restaurant in lodi dude i was making 300 dollars a day that's, that's good money that's really that's good. Some tips yeah. not even including my hours so i'm making another 100 to 150 dude, i'm 16 17 years old that's really working good. seven days a week yeah i had my first apartment at seven going into 18 years old Nice. Yeah, man. So, I, but I didn't. Have, I got nothing to show for that. Now, you know, we they blew it, it all. Up. <laughs> uh, I got all my space. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> y'all, yeah, y'all, 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 I don't think I would appreciate it. I don't think I would appreciate it. 
you know, what I got now back then. So I'll try to teach them to appreciate now. You know, it's not about what you don't have. It's about what you got right now. Mm -hmm. You know, make the best out of it. Do you think there's a, a lack of patience? Man, that's that's key. Mm. That's key. Especially, I know it goes for women as well, but for men, especially the guys who have to go, you know, bring it home, it's a lot of sacrifice. We want it now. We want it yeah, we'll right then. Flip it around and just turn it up. Boom. Right, boom. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I did the job. Boom. Like, no, you got to wait for your page. I remember hearing that for the first time. No, you don't get paid till two weeks. I'm like... No, but I just did all the show. Oh, no. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, that's why I don't work for anybody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. You know, no, but that, yeah. Patience is key. Um, that's what I try to tell my young athletes, man, boys and girls. Be patient. Trust yeah. it. I mean, know? that one opportunity will lead to another. And, and like, if, if and you don't, you know, right. go for it, you know. It's know. so true. It's so true. It may not come on your time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not even like super spiritual like that, but I, I believe it's not on our time, it's on God's time, you know, so you gotta have patience. But I think we live in a city where it's hard to have patience. You see this guy getting it, this guy getting it, that guy getting it, you're like, I want it too. I yeah. gotta have it, you yeah. know? Comparison. Your time will come. It, yeah, exactly. But that's the thing, like, back to our phones and stuff, like comparison, it just robs you. Oh, yeah. oh man. Yeah, you live a certain way for so long and then you see like, like, man, I'm, is this, is this what everyone else is doing? Like, <laughs> right. I'm not, I'm not, I don't have that. I don't do no, this. No, like, right. <laughs> right. That's why I post and I get off. Like, yeah. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of people really, hey, coach, you didn't see this? You didn't see that? Or, oh, coach, no. you see? I'm like. Try not to scroll too much. I mean, I got my brother. My brother will call me. I agree to like my picture. I'm like, bro, I didn't see it. I'm sorry. I'm like, <laughs> no, we, we knew you were wrong. We saw you I got, <laughs> I got eight pages I'm trying to run right now. Like, oh, yeah. Man. <laughs> my bad. No, nah, but it's good to to be able to be in a position to post good content. Yeah, you know, things that mm -hmm. are actually beneficial to it's huge. You know that 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 in itself, right there. I think it's like it's almost like we 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 have to have it. You know, because yeah. it's there. But you know, it, it's like how we get to interact with it is like that's the part where you have to be disciplined. That discipline and the patience. Yeah, and the respect. I think the respect goes a long way too when you like. Respect yourself. Respect the process. Yeah. Respect. Respect all. Respect the overall. You know. Yeah. That that right there. I mean, you you nailed it. You respecting yourself. Right? All right. I feel like that's probably that's something I just see across the board that I mm -hmm. think people struggle with or don't even. I don't think people even think about it. Yeah. Yeah. No. I agree. Yeah. That that's that one is. I haven't heard that one in a little bit. That's a good one. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it goes a long way. It goes it goes a long way. I think that's where I, I think why I lasted so long is I respect everything. Yeah. You know, I respect the down. I respect the good. Uh, for me, there's no losses. It's all yeah. learning. It's a process. Yeah it's, yeah. All, it's all learning. Yeah. I love that. There's no losses, just learning. Because yeah. that, that's, that's, that's such a hard thing to teach anybody of right. any age but instilling that in a younger person is right. so important. well trying to instill it into a, a younger person who thinks the total opposite because of how their peers raise them yeah yeah you know that's even tough you know like oh man you're balling but in their head they're not balling yeah mm -hmm. they're like oh no i'm like hey man you gotta learn to appreciate respect it love it you know yeah but it's it's funny it's like being having you know, having patience and gratitude and all these things, but still having the the drive, right? To Man. keep pursuing things. Like that's right. a, a hard to keep putting those shoes on. Yep. Every day. Yeah. Every, every day. Every day. Now, the good and the bad. It's a it, it's a it's a very I think it's it's that's also one of the things where when you see people when you see people who probably didn't have to deal with hard things growing up, mm -hmm. you see it resemble you see it manifest into certain things later in life mm -hmm. you know when they're adults and things like that and it's like it's it's really and now they have to go through the harder things right now mm -hmm. and it's like you haven't been equipped and so it's like i just keep it's funny i just keep thinking it's like man it's so important to be able to uh, to to put your kids somewhere there, it's going to challenge them, yeah. Especially you know, in, in and be able to work hard and learn and and become disciplined. Um, especially 
from other people that are mm-hmm. not their parents. Mm-hmm. Right. I, that, that's, that's, you know, kids need to obviously respect their parents. That's huge. But, but being able to learn from somebody else yeah. that, where the parent trusts. Right. Because you know, they put a lot of trust in you guys. No, no they do. You know? Oh, yeah. No, they do. Yeah. So when I, when I see them still here, still come back, that just to me, then it's that's my self, uh, my self respect. Where I'm like, okay, we're on the right path. They're mm-hmm. they're still coming. They're still buying in. They're bringing more people in. Oh yeah. You know, they're we're getting invited. You know, it's it's, it's pay, it pays off. That's a good confirmation. It full, right yeah, it comes full circle. So what? Do you have anything planned for the future? Like, what what do you see? What's what are some of those goals that you're working towards in the near future? I guess. Uh, last year I was blessed with the opportunity. Um, Vince put me in position to see more, uh, in a sense of how the end game rolls around when it comes down to like getting these kids in college. Yeah. Mm. You know, um, going on those trips and seeing our talent compared to talent in Atlanta, Texas, mm-hmm. Miami, uh, LA, Oregon, to see that and us prosper the way we prosper with these kids, that was like a light bulb. I was mm-hmm. just like, whoa, we are, we're different. I'm not saying we're better, but we're different. And yeah. we bring that little edge that these colleges are looking for. You know, like they want those dogs. It's a tough mm-hmm. competition out there. It, it, it's, it's out there. Yeah, there's a lot of talent. And- there's a lot of talent. <laughs> and, and what's so crazy uh, then you also get the I could, I'll put it out there you also get the false talent mm. where you know people use their relationships to put doves on on an athlete so then when we go hear that this kid's got 30 something offers I got a dog who want to see about that you know why he got 30 offers yeah yeah. you know so to go line up against something like that that's, that was eye opening huge eye opening you know and uh to have that under my belt now where now we're a part of that end process of mm-hmm. not only them going to college, our goal is to let them pick where they want to go to college, but you got to put that work in and trust the process. Yeah. You know, like, yeah, you can go to San Jose State. I'm not knocking nobody. You can stick around and go local. You know, there's SAC, there's, you know, Cal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I got kids who say they want to go to Ohio. They want to go to LSU. They want to go to, you know, Tennessee. They want to go. You know, I tell the kids, sky's not the limit no more. We used to, we were grew, we grew up on that era where we're like, man, sky's the limit. Now sky's not the limit no more. Yeah. You know, everything's accessible now, and I think, man, I, I think I was supposed to go through that process with Vince. I'm glad I pulled a trigger uh, with Vince. Vince would call me on the spot, like, hey, you're leaving <laughs> next week, and I'm like, where am I going? <laughs> <laughs> you, gotta go, you gotta go experience this, man. You gotta go see this. You gotta go, and man, that was huge. So, right now, where I'm at is uh, learning. And trusting that process to go forth. Yeah, mm. yes, it's, it's good to hear that you had that open mind to just go after it. Yeah, go after pursue it. Pursue it. Yeah. yeah, pursue it. And uh, man, I appreciate that. Man, that was that's huge because I'm able to bring that back, and it helps me be a better trainer. Helps me be a better football coach. Like, like now I, I could go to my football program that I I train for. Uh, I mean, that I coach for pads. I'm able to have that communication with these mm-hmm. parents, like, hey, if you're saying serious, serious, there's a there's a way. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. they're, they're, yeah. they 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 don't it's not a question no more. Like we got people like Vince, I love this dude, man. He don't stop networking. Vince, oh no. Vince is like the network guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And what he does, no to me, nobody could do. And it shows in the resources who call him and who line up. Mm-hmm. Like we had like the biggest West Coast recruiter here last Sunday. 20-something boys from the 209 got to build their player card. To even get, on a, to even get a player card, you have, to, you have to pass an eye test. Yeah. So now that they're just calling Vince and saying, man, who do you got? Explain mm-hmm. why. Okay, I, I think a lot of people don't understand the magnitude of what you're just saying. Can you go yet. a little more in depth because, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, I don't think people really understand how big that really is. It's, it's the end game. I keep I, I just try to tell a lot of people it's the end game. You, like, if you want to go to college, there's a process to it. Yeah. And in that process, you have to trust it. And there's only one way to go, and it's, it's full speed. So if you're going to train, you got to train at a certain speed. If you're going to want to go to D1, you got to have those grades. So you got to train at being a student, you know, the best student you could be. For us is developing them 
to go out into the real world and them survive. But not only survive, come back with that lion's, you know, skin. Come back with that mm-hmm. bear skin. You know, it's like we want them to go prosper uh, in life. And if your goal is to go see further in life, especially in, into your degree and also into football, it's right here now. Mm-hmm. You know, we don't have a lot of times you have to you do, you had to leave Stockton to go try to figure this out. That is, yeah. ex- it yeah. is in our backyard now. It is here in the gym. It is here with VC. It's here with me. It's it's a blessing, man. Um, it's everything's available now. Everything is it's, it's it's here if you want it, but you got to want it. Yeah, because mm-hmm. it's I, not for everybody. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I remember thinking like, it, I always wondered like, why is there not more talent coming out of here when they come on talk to me literally talent talk to me clearly so much From boys to girls there's talent all across yeah, the board all across yeah. the board baseball basketball yeah wrestling and, people sleep on wrestling out here yeah. wrestling's huge out here oh it's humongous soccer is huge out here yeah yeah you know yeah there and it's 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 and i think what 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 many of us never really realized was the lack of resources available for yeah. these kids to be put on a platform to mm-hmm. be given the actual opportunity. No, and, and and VC did that, man. He did that to a degree that I still don't see from a lot of other places. Like, yeah. to, those phone calls that I see coming in on his phone, I think it's just still even shocks him sometimes. He's like, <laughs> he's like look, I'm like this, oh my God. <laughs> like, it's getting more real. <laughs> like, this is real, real. Yeah. yeah it's, it's bringing the opportunity to to the community, to the youth, which I don't think, I think a lot of people would give up on their dreams of becoming an athlete because right. they didn't have that resource. No, you, you didn't. Or, or. That little in to, right. to be seen. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, but let alone not only, but that's the thing. It's like not everyone's going to make it and that's okay. Mm-hmm. But like being able to just have the chance. Oh, like, yeah. To have yeah. the chance is everything. It is because that, 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 Facing that part of reality for themselves is going to teach them so much. Life lessons. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And 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 likely they're going to be a better adult yeah. and a better. To know you have the opportunity, at least. Right. Very yeah. least. Yeah. Right. It, it, opportunity for free. Yeah. Oh, that that right there is uh, huge. It's huge because you know. A lot of things aren't, and they're only no. catered to I mean, people. Sports is not cheap, but they're only so. catered to to people who have money. Mm-hmm. You know what right. I'm saying? It's like the real world. Yeah, in Stockton, you know, the average income is under thirty thousand. I think it's it's, it's got to be that under thirty thousand. Yeah, it's right? got to be and, that. And, and you know, it's like, and for it to be that low, it's like, man, you know that these parents don't have just right all you know, stacked against the kids already. Exactly, yeah. and so. We know money buys opportunity, but then being able to see that, you know, you guys have this ability to create something that is free for them to have that opportunity. Is, I think yeah. a lot of people don't get that part either. No, no, not at all. That's going back to what you were saying, like <laughs> going in depth of that. Um, it will come full circle where everybody will like understand it. We're still getting our feet wet. We're still trying to understand the process as well, but it's uh, buying in. Yeah. And it's buying in and betting on yourself. You know, like a lot of people don't know. My son don't even talk about being in the NFL. He talks about going to college. But mm-hmm. he talks about going to college to be an engineer. That's that's uh, that's, that's his goal. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he wants to be an engineer. Nice. I'm like, I don't know where he's going with that, but he's in his head, he got somewhere to go. And uh, going off to what we're saying is, I think it starts at home. It starts at home with understanding who's in front of you and who you have as a resource. Because yeah. not everybody is accessible. You know, not everybody gets that opportunity to do that. I mean, there was kids in here, like, um, who I even told, because there's a big, there, we had a big group message. There's even kids I told, that I, didn't, I think that they didn't even deserve to be in there. Mm. Yeah. I'm Sometimes that type of coach. Sometimes you just got to be told. <laughs> no, I'm him. Yeah, I'm, you, I'm him like that. That's know? good. Yeah, I told him. Just I told spoiled him, ass kids sometimes. Spoiled ass kids. <laughs> you know, I told him, like, I, I, who wakes up at 5 a.m. for this? Mm-hmm. You know, who, who who's sit next to that teacher who's bugging the teacher who's actually looking at the college that they want to go to and seeing what that college even offer yeah. because yeah. the degree you might even go in to go look for that might not even be the school for you so yeah. like and then who's jumping into those camps who's trying to showcase that there's the best like I try to tell people number ones hang out with number ones this is true mm-hmm. entrepreneurs hang out with entrepreneurs 
You know, lions don't go say, I'm going to leave the lions and oh, I'm going to hang out with zebras. Yeah. <laughs> it don't work like that. We go out to eat them, but that's about <laughs> it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you see where I was going with that? Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's, that's true. You know, though. so it's like, for me, it's, uh, uh, I love my position. Where I'm at with it is VC gets to bring it in full circle and then I get to help mold them into what we're trying to do and that's for them to prosper in it in the right way, not just get a handout. Yeah, you know exactly. Because you, when you get a handout, you don't appreciate it. No. I don't care what nobody say. You gotta work. You gotta work. Yeah. When you work, it hits different. Absolutely, you gotta pay some way. You gotta pay some way. And for us, the only way we want you to pay is being a good person to our community, holding down yourself. Don't lie to yourself. Hold down your school and ball out. Train yeah. hard. Yep. You know that's true, man. Couldn't have, couldn't have said it any better. That's yeah, it's awesome. a process, man. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, dude, you got anything else you want to add? I think I think we're we're coming up on an hour or so. We'll Ooh, that was a fun hour. I know. <laughs> hey, come check my guys out, man. Come tap in with their nutrition spot. Best in the town, best in the business. Good people. They don't lie. They keep it real with you, and they're going to get you in the right direction. Come check them out. And where, 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 you, can, uh, where can people find you, sir? Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, Instagram, Ryan, Yaya Walker, uh, Elevate 209, Elevate Football Academy, yeah. uh, 19707. We got our tryouts coming out pretty soon. Uh, we got 10U. We'll have a 10U squad, 12U squad, 14 squad, 13U <laughs> squad. We'll try to fit all these links in there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll have three high school teams. Yeah. And, um, yeah, man, hey. HIP Human Improvement Project. Come check it out. Yes, sir. Um, thank, right. thank you for tuning in to the Lazo Lab. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Good stuff. Appreciate y'all, man. Yeah, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.